Hey guys, it's Rujib Sumer, and I'm back with another Rome Total War 2v2 online battle commentary. I'm playing as a Celicids, my teammate is playing as Macedon, while my enemies are SPQR and the Julii Romans. Alright, let's take a look at my army as it goes on to the march. I have six regular archers, I don't think I have any upgrades on them. And I brought a kind of weird Celicid army. I don't usually bring shield legionnaires, but I brought uh, four silver shield legionnaires, gold gold upgraded. And then I brought two silver shield pikes and one phalanx pike. And I brought two companion cavalry and two cataphracts. Alright, that's enough of my army. Let's take a look at Macedon. Um, let's see. He has five royal pikes, a couple of Cretan archers, some light lancer, light cavalry, and some companion cavalry. Companions look pretty sexy. Don't you think so? Okay, let's take a look at my opponent's armies. His army, SPQR, consists of four, five archer auxilia. These are good units. And then he has a few lightly upgraded urbans along with legionaries supporting in the back. And he has some customary praetorian cohorts. So does the red romans. They also have legionary cohorts and urban cohorts. Maybe they coordinated... Uh, because they have like the exact same army compositions. I'm not sure. His guys aren't in loose formation. But I already know I'm going to lose this battle. Because archery, archer auxilia are really good against archers. I was just seeing my men drop like drop like I do when I do parkour. Which means constantly dropping and dying. But yeah, I saw all these bodies on the ground. I'm like, huh. Yeah, so then I decide to target archery fire. I turn off fire at will. And I decide to target one unit at a time. I try to target these guys, but they're just not going down fast enough. They have the hill advantage, and they have more armor than my dudes. So, with every volley, like, uh, one guy goes down. So I decide to make a risky move. I send up my faster moving companion cavalry to attack his uh, skirmishing units in an attempt to disarray his army. And it looks successful. I'm getting probably a ton of kills. And these guys barely took any casualties. So, yeah, that was a good move, I guess. I'm not sure. But anyway, I still keep trying to target him and try to win the skirmishing duel, but it's probably still not going to happen. Because they have butter knives out. <laughs> I like how they're walking closer to my archers with the butter knife. Like... It's threatening or something. Probably very intimidating. Anyway, he, my, my team, my opponent got into a little bit of a jumbled mess right here. Meanwhile, our cavalry was clashing, and my companions would lose this fight if I did not bring in cataphracts. So that's exactly what I do. I bring in some more cataphracts, and that cataphract just jumped over my own cavalry. So finally, the Praetorian menace routes as they're surrounded with good cavalry. So, archery is still going on, but I don't really care about that at this point right now. My opponent sends up his huge force of Praetorian Cav. And I don't want to attack just yet until I know I can set up to win this fight. So I bring up some Phalanx Pikemen, and then I charge all of my cavalry in. I try to make an attempt to outflank but I think the real kicker was the Phalanx Pikeman unit that I had uh, attack from the flank. Once they turn into a pike formation, these Praetorian Cavs start losing and... Yeah, whoa, look at that guy fly. I apologize for my voice, I'm kinda sick. So if I sniffle or whatever, you know why. Anyway, it's winter break so I can make a ton more videos. I'm excited for that. Might make some more Natural Selection 2 along with Rome Total War. Maybe other Total Wars, but I suck at the other Total Wars. So, he starts moving up his infantry, seeing as how his cavalry force was absolutely crumbled to bits. And he's going to start throwing some Pila at my archers. And that's exactly what I want, because I don't care about my archers anymore. Sorry, guys. 
Your loyalty to the Silica King has been very appreciated. Now if you could please take Apila to the knee, that'd be very helpful. So, I set up my Silver Shield Legionnaires into guard mode so that they don't dip, freaking route immediately to these urbans. And then I turn off, I turn on fire at will so then they'll fire at these urban cohorts over here. And meanwhile I have my archers in the flanks trying to shoot these guys. Because I know I can't kill his archers. So, yeah, my Pila is being thrown at this huge blob of urbans right here. Meanwhile, uh, my teammate said to attack this, these two urbans right here because they were also bunched up. So I sent up some silver shield legionnaires and some phalanx pikemen to attack. And meanwhile, I tried bringing up some cataphracts as well. So finally, the infantry engagement has started. And these urbans would pretty much win in a stand-up fight. So I have my legionary silver shield legionnaires in the front. And while I shoot with arrows, and then I try flanking with a silver shield pikeman. I also try flanking with a cataphract on this side. Over here, I flanked with a cataphract. So these guys are going to get uber flanked right here. Bam. Look how crumpled that is. I'll let you enjoy the carnage going on. So my teammate sees that uh, there's a golden opportunity right here to destroy the red guy's uh, Praetorian cavalry and then flank. So we coordinate our cavalry and destroy the Praetorians. And because we can do that, these guys are uber flanked. Meanwhile, there was a lack of coordination between SPQR and Julii Romans. And that's why the Julii Romans got stuck in this little debacle. Otherwise, I'm sure the purple dude could have helped out a little bit. Anyway, I see his legendary cohorts right here, so I decide to send in my cataphracts from the flank. Or from the back, actually. So they attack these legionaries from the back. Meanwhile, everyone else is being surrounded. And uh, we are cornering our cavalry, because he doesn't have to use it against these, uh, this purple dude, because he's not doing anything. So some nice action going on. You can barely see what's going on, probably. But I can tell you, it looks pretty awesome. I hate urban so much. General is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it is beyond belief. The enemy general is slain, and now he's going to fear us. It is time Check to out what's going on over here. It looks like Archon Julia versus Praetorian Cav and Companion Cav. So, Light Lancers, I think they're going to rout. Either that, or they run away to attack more archers. Good move by my teammate. Meanwhile, his his companions are going to get owned over here. I try sending cataphracts, but he moves them out just in time. So now that I have my own companions, they can engage these uh, Praetorians. It's pretty messy right now. But I see golden opportunity to finally kill these stupid archer auxilia with my cataphracts. So I charge them from the flank. And uh, the Praetorian Cavalry finally got routed by my companions and my Phalanx Pikemen, which were in the proximity. But in the process, he finally routes my companion Cav. Now over here, it's a desperate fight for my Cataphracts, because they were surrounded, so I had to move them out. Meanwhile, I charge into these dudes right here. Probably wasn't very well advised. But... Check out this cool charge. Cavalry from all sides. Just caponing these dudes. So yeah, these guys just got surrounded as well. So I guess that's enough to scare them off. Roman scum. They have no honor. Alrighty. So here's the battle, as you can see. Looks like we're going to have to destroy... The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. We're going to destroy the remnants of the purple army right here. So here, here comes the infantry fight. 
He's flanking with some uh, more royal pikes as well. But I start regrouping my men. By the way, I've never used this type of uh, Selicent army before. It was really fun. All I use, I basically just use standard armies all the time. You know, like six silver shield pikes and you know four cataphracts. But decided to change stuff up, and I actually kind of like this build. It provides a lot of flexibility. You got your heavy cav with, sel with uh, the cataphracts. You got some decent heavy fast cavalry with the companions. You got some crappy, semi crappy infantry with your silver shield legionnaires. And you got some pikes as well to defend your flanks and flank the enemy. Pretty good versatile build. So basically the battle is done. I'm going to speed this up so you can see the result. We're just basically clashing all our cav and stuff. As you can see. So utterly beaten. This is a crushing victory worthy of a great general. I'm not that great. I suck at this game. Anyway, good game to my opponent. Sounds really fun. Uh if you're watching this right now, this was an epic battle, and I appreciate the opportunity to play with you. And I hope that we can play again. Alright, everyone have a good